previously on Ruiz Sharing. So now I'm going to grab two bits off the menu. I'm going to grab two bits of Spanish and two bits of Cali, and I'm going to review them in part two. So I went to the menu and I wanted to get out two bits of Spanish and two bits of Cali. And the first bit of Cali I got was wasabi. The uh, first bit of Spanish I got was the rainbow chip. Then I also got the Kush mints, which is Spanish. And I also got some biscotti, which is Cali. So very, very excited to try these. And the plug actually had some pre-rolled roaches. So don't have to roll loads of roaches for all of the doobies. Just going to use these instead. So getting this wasabi out, first main point that everyone's going to bring up is that there were no bags. So when I saw that there were no bags for it, I was a little bit skeptical. But hey, this was one of them ones where as soon as you spark it, you know that it is the thing they are saying it is. My days, the smell from the turps just from sparking this is unbelievable. Still, this is proper. So continuing to smoke this, it comes out absolutely crazy, like insane, proper punching you in the face type deal. Smoking absolutely crazy. Yeah, 100%. This wasabi gets a 10 out of 10 for me. So moving on, keeping it with the Cali, I'm pulling out the biscotti. And I must say, this was smelling absolutely insane. Like, I haven't smelled a biscotti that smells like this old school, the proper, like, I don't even know how to describe it because it's not like the connected one. It's more kind of like the uh, Burning Rope Farms biscotti. And my days, that is a nice biscotti. Yo. This is smelling crazy. I haven't smelled a Cali biscotti that smelled like this for probably like, probably since before, like, you know, like 2020, like 2019, I would say. Like, this smells crazy. If this smells like banging, that's game changing. So sparking this one up, this is where I start to get really happy because like I said, this Turp profile is a Turp profile I haven't had for a long time and the fact that it came out exactly how it smelled in the taste was just exactly what I needed. It was just everything I could have hoped for from this biscotti. Yeah, I think 100% this biscotti gets the 10 out of 10 as well. And I ain't just saying this. I really, really mean it. This was a beautiful smoke. Look at this. Look at that. This is a beautiful looking nug. This is the Kush mints. This is a Spanish one. And this is what I mean by some people were trying to tell me that the Spanish quality in the plug was not there. And uh, are you seeing the same thing I'm seeing? The quality is definitely there. And you already know that this one had a crazy smell to it. I don't really know how to describe the smell other than just saying it's kind of Kush mintsy because it's that very specific smell that you get from just Cushments and Cushments crosses. So um, yeah, very, very unique, really, really nice. And yeah, the Terps on this one came through beautiful, just like most of the mint strains that I'd be getting in the UK, like really, really on point. Man, you know, this, this is definitely up there with some of the best Spanish flour I've ever smoked. So moving on to the last bit of bud, this is the rainbow chip. This is actually a Spanish one and it's very iconic out here. It comes from a place called the OG. They have uh, rock farms which have been doing this rainbow chip for I think about two years and I think I probably first tried their stuff about a year ago which actually there's a funny story about that. I actually was just walking through Macbo and I seen somebody with a rock farms hoodie which is like the rock star logo but with a little weed leaf instead of the star and I just walked up to him and said hey uh, where did you get that hoodie? I really want to get one and they were like oh it's from the OG you should come by sometime and then I ended up going to the OG like meeting the owner and um, tried the rainbow chip for the first time but that was a while ago and obviously this is now not grown by them I'm, I'm not I'm not 100% sure if this is grown by them rainbow chip by rock farm yeah 
Smells mad. What was the cost of this one? Gelato 41 chocolate mint. Gelato 41 chocolate chocolate mint shit or chocolate energy? So yeah, it's 41 and choc mint chip, which I'm not sure what choc mint chip is, but the way the flavor comes out is uh, very gassy, very creamy. It doesn't really keep that 41-ness to it from the gelato, like it doesn't have that gelato taste to it. I wouldn't even say it has like that almost sherbet taste at all. It's just very creamy, very gassy, a little bit earthy. And of course, once again, this one is smoking absolutely 10-10, came out on point. Now, I must admit that when I went to the counter and I asked for two Spanish and two Cali, I did say, hey, I want the best two, right? And I actually took their recommendation on both of these. And I think that's really good because if anyone else did the exact same thing, they would not have been disappointed at all. I have honestly been so shocked and just so pleased with my experience here that um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be coming back a lot more often and I feel like an idiot for not coming here more often than I have. So thank you guys for coming to this review. It's been really banging. Um, I'm sure I did a nice voiceover. Hopefully I made it really, really good. But remember, you can use this video as a referral to come into the club. So obviously if you need a membership or whatever, you can actually take the video into there and use it as your invite because obviously you need to have an invite to be able to go into the club. So uh, yeah, make sure you like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and uh, I'll see you guys I think this might be the last episode that goes up. And you know, I think this might be one of the first that goes up. So many more to come. But it's the last one that I actually filmed out here going over tomorrow. So uh, yeah, people, peace.